The saying is as old as it is accurate. There are three kinds of lies, lies, damned lies and statistics. The propaganda from green media outlets about Australia's energy markets over the weekend demonstrates my point. Get this. Yesterday, energy generators, as those producing electricity, were paid not to produce power due to negative prices. The former deputy editor of the Australian Financial Review and current editor of Renew Economy boasted, quote, wind and solar records tumble again as coal and fossil fuels hit another low, unquote. More propaganda. And according to the latest data from the Australian energy market operator, prices between 7 a.m. and 3 p.m., 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. in New South Wales yesterday, averaged negative $47 per megawatt. But as the sun went down at peak time, prices skyrocketed to an average of $207 per megawatt between 5 p.m. and 10 p.m., a massive 540% increase in a matter of hours. How can that be? Well, due to an oversupply of daytime solar, prices went negative. But this is far from a good thing. I understand this may be confusing, so bear with me. When the wind is blowing and the sun is shining, the power produced by Australia's wind turbines and solar panels goes straight into the grid. So we meet our renewable energy targets. However, when the wind stops blowing and the sun stops shining, our ageing coal-fired power plants and gas plants are forced to scale up rapidly, that's increased production, to keep the lights on. Now, the worst part, our coal and gas plants were designed to produce power at a fixed rate. They weren't designed to rapidly scale up and down to compensate for the unreliability of wind and solar. And this is why at about 5 p.m. yesterday, power prices skyrocketed. The same time when everybody starts turning on the lights, cooking their dinner and switching on the telly. But it's not just a problem for households. Think of the impact on business. Unstable energy prices make producing steel and aluminium almost impossible. At some times during the day, prices are low enough to turn a profit. At other times of the day, prices are far too high. Just ask Alcoa. Now, Alcoa is one of Australia's largest aluminium manufacturers. The taxpayer is now paying Alcoa to turn off production when there's a shortage in power generation. Meanwhile, our power generators are withholding their supply of power because of low prices during the day. Sum that up. Our grid has never been more chaotic and solar and wind are to blame. Before our politicians became inflicted with green madness, we had cheap, stable energy. Now we've got unstable energy that's extremely cheap sometimes and unbelievably expensive at other times. And that, as I have repeatedly warned, is not sustainable, it's economic suicide. And you, the taxpayer, are picking up the tab to keep the whole system together. What a mess.